tournament day. Hello everyone and happy October 1st. This video is about the time Jasmine and I played in a spike ball tournament. Well, we are on our way to Newton Park where the spike ball tournament is held and I got my entire team with me, which is me and Jasmine. And we are the RJ Smash, because RJ Smash kind of sounds like a band from the 80s or something. What is spike ball, you ask? So glad you asked. This is spike ball. Four people play at a time on teams of two. One team starts by serving the ball onto the net from six feet back. The other team then has up to three hits to return the ball onto the net. When a team fails to properly return the ball, the other team gets a point. The best way to get the other team to mess up is the smash. That was dumb. Found it. The tournament was organized by my friend Brandon and it was also a fundraiser for his uncle and aunt Lloyd and Joyce who are helping immigrants transition into Canadian society. There were 33 teams altogether and the tournament was held at the soccer fields in Newton, Ontario. After Brandon went over the rules with everybody, it was time to play some spike ball. So we're through five games so far, and we have two wins and three losses. My legs are tired already, and we still so we still have a lot of games to go. But yeah, it's it's been fun. Look at all those spike ball players. Crazy. We finish our ten regular season games. Five wins, five losses. Everybody makes the playoffs. We're in B pool and there's three pools. So the top half of pool B joins pool A for the playoffs and the bottom half joins pool C and they have like a, a second tier playoffs. So I really don't know if we're gonna be in the top or the bottom, but we'll find out. It's food time. How good is that potato salad right now? It's really good. It's spike bowl potato salad. We ended up being the bottom team to make the top level of playoffs which meant that in the first round of the playoffs we had to play Rod and Chris, aka the two old guys, the top team from Pool A. We started off the game with one point as Rod missed his first serve, and that was unfortunately the last lead we would have. Jasmine and I have officially been eliminated uh, from the tournament. We kind of got uh, a bit unlucky. We were the bottom team in the top pool for playoffs, so we played the very top team. The men in blue, right over there, who are in the next round now. Uh, they're the old guys. That's Lost to the name. old guys. They were really but good old it was, guys. It was a lot of fun. Uh, and we, we thought we played pretty mm -hmm. well. We weren't really expecting to win. It was just a really fun day, mm -hmm. I thought. Mm -hmm. Thanks for playing with me, Jasmine. Thanks for playing with me, Ricky. Maybe we can do it again sometime? Maybe, yes. maybe. If things go well. Maybe, <laughs> <laughs> maybe in like a couple of years after my legs feel normal again. Yeah. We stuck around to watch the finals, which ended up being Brandon and his sister Jana against the two old guys that beat us. It was a hard fought battle, but Brandon and Jana ended up winning. Well Thanks, done, sir. sir. Thank you. Thanks again for organizing everything. A little You're suspicious welcome. that the organizer won, but uh, I'm just kidding. I'm not kidding. But we just got back from the spike ball tournament. We're quite tired. My legs are stiff because I used muscles that I have never used before. Oh, hey, Jasmine. Are you Hi. waiting for a key? Yeah. So what was your highlight of the day? I like playing spike ball. That's crazy, because that was my highlight, too. We're, we're perfect for each other.
Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully if you've never played spike ball, now you want to try. And hopefully if you have, now you want to play more. Uh, you can find out more about the game at spikeball.com, link down below.